So this is why your mind is M, it's money, and your mind makes muscles to make money. So your mind metaphysically matters, and then your muscles physically matter. And then obviously we can just see that the physical only matters because of the metaphysical. The muscles only matter because of the mind. This is sort of like cosmically how it plays out in um, almost all realms and realities. It's weird how polarizing it is, you know, where and you don't know, but you're about to know. You are hear how I feel about it. <laughs> and it's just especially with my life path being too. It's strange, like through my journeys and lessons and uh awakening and everything here just seeing like literally life is so polarized like the fact that you as a spirit can observe life means that it's three energy but life itself is all two like life is just straight up two like life is water it is literally it's two it's wild like it's just all and at that point two being connections life being all about connections so it's like infinitely subconscious in that way that all everything that matters is connected by the two like the thing that matters is the four and then you know two plus four equals six and now we're able to have sex have six with the watery box and all these boxes all this earth that exists inside of water because that's basically life right now like looking around anything that you can touch is for the fact that it exists is within two you observing that is what brings three into all of that and this is why life is three because it takes you as a spirit to be aware of all these connections to actually make them matter to you and now you are using your ability your soul, your ability to be aware, your ability to connect with yourself, which creates your soul, to add your feeling into the universe and then create earth bodies, create cells that stabilize into your human body that allow you to further communicate and make your mind matter. Now you can make money off of all of your individual ideas and your individual feelings about your ideas. Pretty cool. Right? And so it's just always knowing that money doesn't matter because literally money is just an idea that we are using to figure out how we value connections. So life being too, it's all about life. Like money is just an individual figuring out how am I going to stabilize life? How do I stabilize the one connection, life, two? Like life is boom, two. How do I stabilize this? And everyone has their own way of making money. That's the point, right? So that's literally what your body is. Like we all have our own minds. And we all have our then our own bodies and we have similar enough bodies because we desire to connect our minds but of course our bodies are different based on how our minds are different and we've communicated in this life differently up to this point because we are different spirits and that's only ever going to show in all realms and realities because there's no other way like it takes us as spirits to make life real like literally so that's why you are real okay you are money everything that you're observing is a two all right it all exists underwater water is two the thing itself is four two plus four is six so all of that is actually life because like the actual life number is six but life truly is two like life truly is water life truly is connections and then you are bringing life to life by being aware of it 
You feel me? So then that's actually three. So when we think about like three being air, literally the universe exists, right? Like the universe, this body of water, it exists without you. The moment you desire to connect, you are literally bringing your awareness into the universe. It's as simple as that. So that's why two plus one equals three. And now you're able to experience yourself as a mind inside of the universe because you desire to connect. And this can be with your own internal universe, right? That's your soul. And then from there, that allows you to do it with the external universe, which is how we're all able to observe each other right now and have shared enough experiences that we're able to relate and connect with each other uh, up to this point. And then we can keep building. And now we're able to make money together. Right? So that's literally then, again, money being all about the earth and our desire to build structures. It shows us that structures that you build alone don't really matter. That's why indigenous peoples in all realms and realities, they have to watch out, like literally, just always. They have to watch out for white supremacists, for European Judeo-Christian type entities, for light supremacists. Because really a white supremacist is a light supremacist. A light supremacist is a white supremacist. A light supremacist, a white supremacist is someone who uses a made up concept like money to penetrate your space and blind your eyes so that they can steal your land. Because the fact is, money doesn't matter until they can steal your land with it. Again, indigenous peoples did not have their land bought from them. It's not possible. Okay, so this is how life plays out. And it's like very sad. Because it's weirdly inevitable. It's so weirdly, grossly inevitable. I almost want to cry. <laughs> And it's like a big duty, I guess, of mine is Hermes, because my caduceus is the representation in just realms and realities forever of chi and your ability to make money off of your chi. That's what your spine is, to capitalize on your chi. That's what the caduceus represents. And it's just me relaying the signal of what I'm saying right now in a more artsy way. You, as a spirit, are making money by creating a body that allows you to make your mind matter, thus stabilizing the way you connect with yourself and creating the opportunity where you are now able to stabilize how you connect with others. And this is what's building the universe forever and ever. All of us desire to stabilize connections. So this is why we're even then like agreeing to money and like we're we're so just willing to agree to things because we know as spirits, we're subconsciously here to stabilize connections. This is why we view chaos as negative overall. And again, like most realms and realities is a subconscious thing. No one, like there's not really, yeah, I haven't seen that in any realm that I've gone to, all spirits, um, view chaotic spirits as negative because literally the universal fact is what's positive is to support the structures that spirits are building so this is why uh you know black people are so negative to white people because they literally hate that they have to colonize and rape and murder our families and steal our resources in order to make money. So they call us niggers. They call us the N-word because they hate that they have to make all of their money matter by stealing everything that we create from going inward, by colonizing and consuming the nature that we create from going inward.
so money literally does not matter and cannot exist without nature money is only ever a spirit creating their individual idea on how to value nature so this is literally why indigenous peoples get enslaved by money and there's countless examples of that through this realm at this point historically and like we know subconsciously like we can't actually put a value on human life can you put a number can you put a value on human life can you put like a numerical value on a spirit's life overall right because this is like what we're talking about at this point with and this is why we like life is literally just polarized there's creators and consumers it's like it's that simple there's spirits who create and there's spirits who consume and this plays out then as the spirits who create are indigenous spirits and the spirits who consume are white spirits in that way and then this is where we see that spirits who create are in their water element because water connects with itself spirits who consume are in their fire element because fire is always projecting outward so now this is where we can see that spirits who create are black and thus unseen because they're too busy connecting with themselves to go out and be seen whereas spirits who consume are white and desire to be seen thus they're doing everything they can to constantly go out of their space and make other people see them so now we can see why in history these sorts of people would want to keep creating all these weapons of mass destruction and all this technology to be able to keep going out of their space and steal resources from indigenous black water people who are happy creating nature alone and then these people the white supremacists are over here just creating a bunch of ideas on how they can eat indigenous peoples because they're like whoa their food looks so good their bodies look so good their land looks so good their flesh looks so good let's create just enough so we can consume their creations and this is the spiritual warfare forever like basically as far as how um the duality of life plays out <laughs> and the the many ways that the creator versus consumer um interactions manifest so money itself is in all realms and realities a white supremacist invention because there's no such thing as money like money is not real money is an individual spirit figuring out how to value what is real and what is real is that life is created from connections from the number two from water which is why white people can only ever make money real by going out of their space to rape murder and colonize indigenous peoples to forcibly enter their ego into other realms and realities repeatedly build railroads to take all their resources and that's the only way money can ever matter through slavery then right through genocide through stealing nature and now saying yes i have because i have all this money because i have all this nature like well did you make that nature because that nature what about that nature's money that nature is a spirit Right? And then that's where we see that the people who consistently believe in money, they don't respect the individuals that they're projecting money onto. Or else they wouldn't even, I mean, you couldn't possibly support slavery. <laughs> it, it just literally wouldn't be possible. It's not, you can't. There's just no feasible way. Like the only way that you can possibly support infringing upon the consent of another spirit to connect with itself is because you are so lost in believing 
that your individual idea called money matters more than the actual life that you are using that idea to eat which then i mean it doesn't matter how much you somehow believe that money matters more than the thing that you're consuming you're only showing everyone that obviously the thing that you're consuming only matters because of the idea as in it takes you having this idea to then project into everything that you want to bring that idea to. This is why it's actually impossible to say how much something is worth. <laughs> you can't actually say how much that glass cup is worth. Like one person can say $2, another person can say $100, and they're both right and they're both wrong. Because it's literally just projection of your imagination like that's all money is and thus the only and the only reason we can speculate on how much money that cup is worth is because there is a cup in the first place and because we've already built connections and built a relationship with all these structures that other spirits outside of us made so it's not even our right to project money onto that that's why in, like it's money is not indigenous in any way shape or form like it's not an indigenous mentality it's a purely white supremacist type mentality to constantly project numbers onto your environment <laughs> you know like the people who make the matrix type deal just like constantly like projecting your ideas onto the environment of like how you can control things versus just reflecting and observing and like connecting with yourself and using what you're observing to connect with yourself right because like that's the epitome of like how money is used to make spirits connect with the person who made up the concept but they don't have to connect with you so like i've been forced to live a whole lifetime where i have no option but to sit all day every day consuming lies and regurgitating lies and being stressed out of passing all these tests because I'm being told that I need to make money. I need to serve people who are not serving me. But that's the logic, that's the law. Somehow we are trapped in the idea that they are serving us because that's you. <laughs> That's why I had to start out this podcast with that joke, <laughs> I guess, because it's just that that's the thing. People literally think that serving the person who tells them that money is their God is giving them freedom. And it's like infinitely backwards. And I've only laughed about it subconsciously. And I'm glad I get to articulate it in a way that truly makes sense. And now is making me money, a.k.a building a structure to support my ability to communicate now because as a spirit as a messenger from mercury who came in here for this purpose it has always been baffling to me that people could possibly think in any way shape or form that serving the person that giving your soul that paying attention to the system telling you that you need money is somehow actually giving you freedom. It is baffling. And it's, it's like, it's, this is just the logic that has been used to trick everyone into supporting their own slavery. It's quite remarkable. Just like truly being in the space, like you really believe that serving the person who is telling you they're going to give you freedom is actually going to give you freedom. That's impossible. It's just impossible. It, like, and this is why spirituality is truly individuality. And the lesson is always going to be hermetically. If you're not having sex with yourself, if you're not serving yourself, then you are serving something that is not serving you. And I don't really care how much it appears like it's serving you. I love you too much to let you get lost in that. 
I promise. I promise you it's not serving you. Now, here's the thing. The moment that you know who you are and you are building a structure internally that serves you, you are now able to serve structures outside of yourself in a way that also benefits your structure. That's literally what my lifetime has been in this cosmic way. So this is the balance of knowing that you have to connect with other spirits by serving the same structures. That's why we can understand each other. We've served the same English language. So this is the balance of just making sure that you know that you as a spirit are creating life first internally. And it is up to you to bring that internal into the external so that you can build the universe and build the structures from the inside out to support the life that you desire. That's what, what money really is. Like when people like talk about making money. So it's just, it's so wild. The slavery twisted mentality here of how especially Americans, but just everyone, like anyone who believes in money, because this is the subconscious issue of money. The moment you believe you can make money, your idea of making money is only going to be serving the person who told you that money matters. And that in and of itself is now you making money matter because they are getting to colonize your nature. So now, although you would normalize, you would normally be indigenous you would normally be going into your own space to create new life to create new nature going inward to create from your nothingness instead you are using your nature you're using your inward to serve him and then that's what makes money matter and this is why money is causing climate change because <laughs> it's just endlessly consuming nature It's endlessly consuming inwards It's endlessly consuming no thing indigenous individual spirits it's that polarity okay it really is that law of polarity this is really why my life path is too and why I love Anubis so much. I cannot, I literally can't imagine stepping out of my space without my dog. And like, I have my own heaven, but truly my heaven isn't even like worth it if he's not there. <laughs> and so the fact is though, money only matters through connections. So like, you can't make money alone. This is why white people throughout all realms and realities, use money to enslave black people. And again, we don't have to take this personally, but this is how it plays out in all realms. Because what we have to understand is that the colors, when you as a spirit are vibrating to create, you when you as a spirit are vibrating at a certain frequency to create the energy that you are using to express yourself, then the color that you are is expressing your natures so it's not about you are actually the body but you are creating something that you resonate with or else you would not be creating it so in all like in in, in all realms it's just like it plays out in terms of spirits that create wider bodies create lighter bodies they desire to be seen they desire to be to project out more and be stars. Like when you look at the night sky, you see stars, those are white spirits. Whereas the black spirits, the black bodies, they desire to be unseen. And they're the ones who make the white spirits possible. So think about if the night sky was just completely one white light. <laughs> like there's just, everyone's a star, right? There's no separation, like it, it would make no sense. So this is why life is about three. Because you as a spirit are observing the two. So that means you are the star. 
the moment you bring your consciousness into the universe, you are shining your whiteness in a sea of blackness because the universe is the two black structure, the feelings, the body of water that we create to support our ability to shine and connect and communicate and just everything. That's what two is. Our feelings, our polarity, our ability to connect is what supports and makes anything and all things possible. So again, money doesn't exist without making anyone who has heard of it believe in it. That's why all these movies are about what people would do for money and trying to make people believe in a certain number being a lot. When in reality, the entities who are making people believe that a certain amount of money is a lot do not believe these things at all because it's all made up numbers. And in reality, your mind <laughs> is the most valuable commodity. And they want you to believe that you are as worthless as possible because in reality, you are the most valuable resource in the universe. This is where the and nature is an externalization of our spirituality. So know that gold is this is why Europeans were obsessed with our gold when they're coming over to Mesoamerica and invading Teotihuacan, invading just the Americas and spreading genocide and the gold rush and everything. The gold rush, the gold rush. The gold rush is literally about colonizing the gold mine and stealing the most valuable ideas in existence, which literally is gold because we create nature. Okay, so when you spiritually know that, okay, we create nature from the inside out, then gold scientifically is a manifestation of our mind becoming refined and our ability to conduct chi at greater levels. That's what gold is really about. The ability to conduct chi in greater magnitudes and how we as spirits just the moment we start communicating, we are building structures that allow us to do that. So this is literally why money is is literally the idea, right? The idea of money is projected onto gold the most and throughout all realms and realities. Like gold is money. Like obviously gold is way more valuable than money. We know that money does not exist. Money only matters because of gold. And gold is the physical representation of a spirit creating a structure that allows it to conduct chi in greater magnitudes than it actually could without that structure so this is like the magic of life this is alchemy this is this is, i guess like i'm like very riled up about this right now because i'm just seeing how passionate i am subconsciously about alchemy and learning um because as chase I'm not like super into esoteric stuff. Like it, it was truly fasting and me connecting with my dog and going through so many psychedelic uh, experiences. So many psychedelic experiences. I'm a wow. Like there's way more than I was even thinking about. Or, wow. Oh, and there's more now. Wow. I've been through a lot. So it's been a process in this lifetime of just organically working from the bottom up to now get to this point where I feel so connected with my spirit that I'm operating from the top down. And then it just takes me like, then it's like a back and forth of the mind. Like how much do I feel like I'm operating from the top down and I get into that vibe and really start doing it versus feeling like I'm operating from the bottom up and I'm than performing at normal chase levels as I've been most of my life. Um, and it's like cool just being able to get closer to spirit and like see like, oh yeah, dang, like these things are like from past lives. Like just everything is from past lives. <laughs> yeah, everything's from past lives. Like I don't, 
there's not one thing I'm looking at that did not come from a past life. You feel me? <laughs> like, it's kind of impossible, actually. That's why I love history. So, this is the fact that the present is a gift and it's only possible because spirits have been connecting a certain way to build the structures that support our ability to connect up to this point. That's why it's important to look at history and reflect upon the past. So I'm just like, yeah, it was just funny watching myself get riled up, uh, looking, talking about alchemy, but that's just straight up what gold really is about the, like it's about. So money, gold, all realms and realities. Gold is the alchemical physical elemental manifestation of a spirit successfully creating a structure that conducts its chi in a way that allows it to communicate at greater levels and now it can use a structure that it has refined you know get some refined gold to then create technology so this is why we're using gold for interdimensional technological communication. And then the gold gets colonized for way more rudimentary communication technology. <laughs> but it's still all about using gold, using this metal that conducts chi, conducts electricity, electricity to be able to communicate in a way that supports your imagination or whatever and now you can make money and build a structure off of that structure so macro micro macro micro in that way and just like keeps expanding out so this is why gold is so valuable like gold is literally just that like that physical manifestation of us making our ability to communicate matter and then being able to conduct it in a way that is valuable yeah like really that's basically i just that's how you make money like that's alchemy right there right because the warfare the slavery spiritual warfare of whoever is making you believe in money is that they want you to believe that making money is actively serving actively giving your time actively giving your soul to the person who is telling you that you need money so then that looks like get a job literally like that looks like go work in the field you inward that looks like go to the office and sit down all day every day and do our work and now we'll give you a certain number of what we told you you need to live in land that we stole from people who would not have demanded the same things of you of course you're not actually going to make money that way not really i mean and of course that's again the balance that is the balance. The more you serve the system that tells you that you need money to live, the system will reward you with said number because that's the only way they're going to be able to keep you alive <laughs> so that you can keep building their structure. Of course, the fact is, if you want to, you know, be as rich as possible, then you would actually build your own structure instead of uh, serving someone else's because serving anyone else's structure is only going to keep you connected to theirs and their structure is not going to make you rich like if you made your own now this is of course the balance of life this is the infinite balance of life because I have friends who are I mean they've in past lives and well in this life <laughs> past lives have gone rich off of my structure and supporting it just like the cells in my body get rich 
off of supporting my mind. So again, air, balance, nothing can happen alone. You as a spirit have to be connected with yourself and have a harmonious internal structure, which we call a soul, so that you can be in vibrational resonance with the actual external structures that you find yourself attached to. So now you won't find yourself serving structures that don't actually serve you. You won't be attached and find yourself in like Stockholm syndrome relationships or like narcissistic abusive relationships because you are so connected with yourself that you don't resonate with such circumstances. So you don't get involved with that. 